All right, so in this problem, I have four to the power of x plus six to the power of x is equal to nine to the power of x. So to solve this, I'm gonna divide both sides by four to the power of x. So I get four to the power of x over four to the power of x plus six to the power of x over four to the power of x is equal to nine to the power of x over four to the power of x. Now, 4 to the power of x and 4 to the power of x cancel out, so I get 1 plus 6 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x is equal to 9 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, 6 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x is going to equal 6 over 4 to the power of x. And 9 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x is going to equal 9, to the, 9 over 4 to the power of x. Now I can simplify these fractions. So 6 over 4 is equal to 3 over 2. And 9 over 4, I'm going to rewrite as 3 squared over 2 squared. And I can actually use this property again for 3 squared over 2 squared. So that's going to equal 3 over 2 squared to the power of x. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So this can equal... 1 plus 3 over 2 to the power of x, which is equal to 3 over 2 to the power of x to the power of 2. Now, I'm going to let 3 over 2 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So I get 1 plus y is equal to y squared. And if I subtract y minus 1 on both sides, these four cancel out, and I get y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, to solve this equation, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 1. So I get y is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. So negative 1 squared, which is 1, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 1, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. Now this is equal to positive 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4 over 2 which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So y is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. However, we're not done yet because we're not solving for y, we're solving for x. And remember how we let 3 over 2 to the power of x equal to y. So this gives me two equations. I have 3 over 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2, as well as... 3 over 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, to actually start, we can already cancel out one of these equations, which is the right-hand one, because 1 minus the square root of 5 is going to be a negative number, and you can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal a negative number. So this equation wouldn't even work. So the only equation I have left is 3 over 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And to solve this, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I have log 3 over 2 to the power of x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So now this turns into x times log 3 over 2 is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And now if I divide both sides by log 3 over 2, I get x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 3 over 2.
All right, so in this equation, I have x to the power of 4 plus x squared is equal to 20. So to solve this, what I'm going to do is first start by subtracting 20 on both sides so we can have all our terms on one side. So I get x to the power of 4 plus x squared minus 20 is equal to 0. Now this may seem like a quadratic equation, but it's not because we have the power of 4 as our primary term, and then that's led by the power of 2. And in a normal quadratic equation, we have 2 as our primary, then we just have 1, and then we have some constant c. So how are we going to solve this? Well, we can't use the, we can't factor this out by using the quadratic formula because this is not a quadratic equation. So to solve this, what I'm going to do is rewrite this as x to the power of 4 plus x squared minus 16 plus 4. So I rewrote, rewrote 20 as 16 plus 4. And the reason I did this is because negative 16 is the same thing as negative 2 to the power of 4. And negative 4 is the same thing as negative 2 squared. So now notice how I have something in the power of 4 and something in the power of 2. And they were both the same. Now I can put the powers of 4s together and the powers of 2 together. So I get x to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 4 plus x squared minus 2 squared is equal to 0. Now 2 to the power of 4 is 16 and 16 is the same thing as 4 squared as well. So I get x to the power of 4 minus 4 squared. And I have this plus x squared minus 2 squared. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 4 is the same thing as x to the power of 2 times 2, which is equal to x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. So now I get x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2 plus x squared minus 2 squared is equal to 0. Now notice how everything is in the power of 2. And if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So we're going to use this property on these two groups. So I first get x squared plus 4 times x squared minus 4 plus x plus 2 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now we can use this property again on x squared minus 4 by rewriting as x squared minus 2 squared. So that's going to equal x plus 2 times x minus 2. And I have this plus x plus 2 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to factor out x minus 2. So I get x minus 2 times x squared plus 4 times x plus 2 plus x plus 2, which is equal to 0. And notice how we can also factor out x plus 2 as well. So, Actually, at the start, what we could have done is just factored x squared minus 4 out. But now we're going to factor out x squared x plus 2 as well. So I get x plus 2 times x minus 2 times x squared plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 0. So x plus 2 times x minus 2, like I said, was x squared minus 4. And I have this times x squared plus 4 plus 1, which is x squared plus 5. Now this is equal to 0. Now this gives me two equations. I get x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. And I get x squared plus 5 is equal to 0. So for x squared minus 4 equals 0, I can add 4 on both sides. So I get x squared is equal to 4. And this is equal to positive or negative 2. And for x squared plus 5 is equal to 0, I get x squared is equal to negative 5. And I get x is equal to positive negative square root of negative 5. 
which is equal to positive negative square root of 5i.